In the early 1900s, airships ruled the day. The Hindenburg-class airships, for instance, were over 800 feet long. Today, we find out how to make one at home with Printu. We start off by programming the core module. This program lets you control... Come on, man. Turn that annoying filter off. We start off by programming the core module. This program lets you control the Print2 through our motor control app for Android. Print2's modularity makes it really simple to bring it together. Simply plug in the Bluetooth module, the solar cell module to connect the lithium battery, and the motor module to the core. We've used two coreless 7mm diameter motors, one to control altitude and the other to propel the airship forward. We then used a micro servo to control the direction. For the structure, we've used balsa wood as it is very lightweight and paper clips as the legs. Simply use the glue to put things together and use double-sided tape to place the print to on the structure. Now comes the fun. We bought a small helium tank from a toy store and some balloons. You can be creative with the shapes of the balloons. Just make sure they are tightly held together. Ideally, the lift should be slightly lower than the weight of the airship so that you can use motors to control altitude. And there you go! It's ready to take off. Now imagine all the cool stuff that you can add to your airship with Printu. LEDs, speakers, sensors, solar panels, autonomous behaviors. Print2, bringing everyday objects to life.